Hello friends, my name is Kishan. In previous tutorial, we had learned about the Spring AOP concept. Now in this video tutorial, I am going to one step ahead. I will create a Java project and with there, I can show you how to work with the different type of advices. So first of all, I would like to implement before advice using XML configurations. So here is the Eclipse. Go ahead and create a Java project. So right click over here, go to the new option, project and here is the java project. So I would give the project name a spring AOP before advice using XML. This is the project name I have given. Now click on the next button and finally click on the finish button say yes here we require to add a spring related jars and a spring op related jars in class path so go to the properties and here i would select workspace default jre and here right click on this project go to the properties and then go to the compiler here compiler version I'm going to select 1.7 say yes and let's create a user defined library so go to the project build path select libraries here select click on the add library select user library click on the next then user libraries and click on the new here I would say a spring a op lib and here i am going to add all dependent dependency so select this user defined library uh, click on add external jars and go to the software here here we have a spring distribution unzipped file so here go to inside and libs select all spring related jars now as we know that a spring has external dependency on common loggers so common loggers apache common loggers also we need to add so here is the apache common loggers so that i have added and finally when you work with the spring uh, eop then a spring eop related jars also we need to add in our class path so select this spring eop lib go to the external jars and here a spring library a spring aop related jars i have kept over here so if you work with the spring if you want to integrate a spring with aop then these are the four jars you need to include in your uh, class path so first jar is the spec j dot jar then second jar is the spec jrt jar spec j weaver jar and aop alliance jar so these are the four jars we need to add in our class path as well so click on the open so these jars also i have added i have added so all dependency i have added in this user defined library click on the ok so here is the all dependency jars now go to the src folder and let's create a class with package com dot infotech dot model and class name i am going to give account Let me increase the font size, go to the windows, preferences, type here font, colors and font, expand basic, and go to the bottom options, text font, twice click on this option, so this is processing. Eclipse is bit slow. So slow. I have added two fields over here, but you may add some more fields. For simplicity, just I have kept two fields only. So right click over here 
and go to the source. Now select option generate constructor using fields. Click on the OK. So just I have created a constructor. And let's create a two getter method of these two fields. So account getter for account numbers. My machine is so get account description and get account number. So these are the two getters I have generated. Now let's create another class. It's called account service I M P L and package I'm going to keep com dot infotech dot service dot IMPL. So this is a package name. Here this account service IMPL. I'm going to add one method is called public void update account balance. So just a fake method I have added but in real scenario you may have a service method from here you may call to the dollar method but here just I'm going to create a fake service layer now here this method may take some parameter like account account This import you will have to this import we have to go account account second parameter I am going to supply that may be any data type so I am taking here long and that is nothing but the amount how much amount you want to transfer something like that and third something is called join points which belongs from the spring AOP join points so these three parameters oh sorry this join point we need to pass in the R advice class not here so here in this service layer class we are going to pass two parameter one is the account and second is the amount and here for simplicity here maybe you may write some business logic but for simplicity just I am going to write a SOP I would say here you can print a message like account number and account number you can print over here get account number this and you can say amount you can print amount as well that's it very but in real scenario you may have a business logic here our main concern is to learn how to use a spring AOP in service layer now only one method I have created up here. So your method starts here and your class also going to end here. So we have created a service layer. Now I am going to create a XML file. So here is the XML file. XML file name I am going to give beans.xml. Beans.xml as we are working with the spring AOP so we required a here doc type so here is the spring AOP related this doc type contains a spring, a spring AOP related namespace as well as AOP and finally we can start closing here here we will configure our AOP related bins and service layer as well service layer class as well so before that I would like to create a class here and package com dot infotech 
डॉट ए ओ पी डॉट एस्पेक्ट पैकेज ने क्लास नेम आई एम गोइंग टू गिव अकाउंट सर्विस एस्पेक्ट Now, this here I am going to define a uh, a before advice. Here we are going to define before advice like public void. I would give before advice, and this guy is going to take a parameter is called uh, join points. Join. here in this year i'm going to print here in real scenario you may print a logger you may use log log 4g or slf 4g here i'm going to write a before method so you can print a method name you may use join points you may use join points okay. Join point. Sorry, we need to use this value to join points. And I would like to print the method name. So get signature. Get signature dot get name. This will give you the method name. And you can say class. Class name also we can print like this. Again we can use join points. Join point dot get target. Get target dot get class dot get simple name. Get simple. This will give you the class name. so basically logger is the one of one of the aspect oriented one of the cross cutting concerns kind of requirements so that to manage the logger we are just creating a account service uh, aspect where logging related stuff we are going to print when your service class will get invoked at the time we will invoke this class and logger we are going to print these things into the logger so this is our agenda now almost most of the things java classes we have created now xml configuration is pending so here we are going to configure xml so we need to configure the some of the beans like bean and class so we have a few bean classes spring bean so first bin is the service so service bin we are going to implement now here we can say name of the id of this bin you can give account service now second bin we have a so this is a this is your aspect uh, bin right so here you can give Account service aspect. Second bin we have a service class bin, so that also we can configure. And here we can give the account service as the ID. So these are the bin we have configured. Now, now we have to configure Spring AOP related stuff. So we have a AOP tag. So Spring Colon AOP config. So here, this AOP colon config represents the AOP model. In when you configure a Spring AOP using XML configuration. So guys, up to here we have covered. So I'm running out of time. So rest of the things configuring AOP stuff in XML configuration file, I'm going to cover in the next video tutorial. So please, please, uh, please. follow the subsequent video tutorial and there will learn how to configure spring eop related 
things in the spring configuration.